Loads of ketones exist now that you can take to raise your ketone level in your bloodstream, but barely any of them have any blood test proof that they work. However, I've decided to change that by trying some and doing my own blood testing. So you can choose one based not on anyone's opinion, including mine, by the way, but instead based on hard factual data and numbers. This doesn't mean you should force ketosis, but I'll get to that later. These are the exogenous ketones from theketopro.com, the raspberry bomb flavor. First things first, the price is $59.99 for a packet of 20 sachets. The taste is fantastic. It's like a minty raspberry flavor. I had no trouble ordering from their website and customer service is great. I used these because I tested the same manufacturer's electrolyte solution and it turned out to be amazing. So I'm testing these two to see if that was a fluke or not. But do their ketones actually work? Can I take them and expect blood levels of ketones to rise to an effective amount such that I could go into ketosis as a tool to achieve certain goals? Here's the first experiment that I did, which I thought was impressive until I did the second one. I took them in water. I measured my blood level just before and also a short while after. I used a Keto Mojo device from Amazon, which again, I paid full price for, and this device takes finger prick blood tests of both glucose and ketones. And you can tell if you're in a specific range, which is programmed as ketosis. Now, obviously the range is just someone's opinion. So take it with a pinch of salt. I'll also get on screen now some info about myself during the test so you can see the context of it and understand that you can't transfer these findings of myself to yourself in 100% the exact same way. Note that there's also an amount of error with the readings too. If the device is 1.5 millimoles per liter, then that could be anything from 1.45 to 1.54, all being classed as 1.5. So there's a small standard error of around 0.05, I think. However, all the readings have that, so the trend is still okay to pay attention to. Now, on the first day, you can see from the ketone level um, that it was 0.4 millimoles per liter, and then it went to 0.8 after around 50 minutes. Then on another day, it went from 0.5 to 1.6 after 50 minutes again. But here's the issue with this type of test. How do you know if those numbers are still on the way up or if they're on the way down if I take just a single reading? The truth is, if a company does this type of test, it's very difficult to know, if not impossible, so I then decided that I'd do a second type of test. In this one, I took a baseline reading after fasting for a period of time and then drinking the ketones. But then after that, I took a blood reading every five minutes until the reading went back to normal. What I saw was incredible. And you need to see this before you buy any ketone product ever again. After just five minutes, the blood level went up. At 10 minutes, it already doubled from 0.3 to 0.6. Now you might think that that's pretty good, but wait. At 45 minutes, it had gone from 0.3 to 2.2, which is over seven times the baseline reading. But wait, it gets even higher than that. And just after two hours, it went to 4.0. That's literally 13 times the baseline reading. I've got a chart here of the ketone readings, which I'll hopefully have on screen with my editing team, uh, with the glucose shown at the same time. Now, of course, it goes up and down. Uh, this product is designed to work for a long period of time, like eight hours or something, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I actually stopped taking readings when I did because I actually ran out of test strips. I didn't think the product would work that well uh, and for that long, to be honest. So uh, I, I couldn't find when the level went back to baseline. Um, there's not really a point, in, I think, in, in longer testing anyway, because if you go for longer without eating, you'd be in a higher level of ketosis anyway because of the fast. So at that point, you don't know if those ketones in your blood are from the products or from the fasting because you've been going for longer. So unlike a lot of rubbish on the market, these ketones genuinely do work. And not just that, they work quickly and in a very potent and long lasting way. If you're looking for exogenous ketones, absolutely I cannot recommend these enough, but here is the problem. You shouldn't be obsessed with being in ketosis all the time. This product is just a tool. Tools can be used appropriately or inappropriately. This can be something you use to aid in weight loss, uh, maybe before the gym, 
before an exam at university or school, something along those lines. Human beings are designed, in my opinion, to be in light ketosis now and again as we get closer to our next meal that's more like, say, once a day, and we shouldn't think that we know better than that. If you don't know what ketosis is or why you'd go into it, then I suggest you look at that first before going for a product like this. Don't go crazy with them. Listen to the guy who created this product called Richard Smith. He is incredibly knowledgeable, and I did a podcast episode with him uh, if you want to see his story and his massive bank of knowledge in this field. It's truly amazing. As a rough guide, if you're going to use them for journeys like fat loss, don't eat a load of carbs before you work out. Just take these like 30 minutes before and do your workout as normal. Same time frame applies if you've got, say, an exam that you want to optimize your brain function for just before. If you're buying them uh, from outside the UK, then the best thing to do is email the company, which I'll get on screen for you now, and say what you'd like, um, as well as where you need it shipping to, and they can give you a quote just for you for that individual shopping list to be sent wherever you are. I've also got a podcast episode planned specifically going into exogenous ketones, C8 fatty acid supplementation, capric acid, and electrolytes with Richard Smith himself. So look out for that in the not too distant future, probably in around a month or two from filming this.